So can you talk about how spirituality plays a role in your music? And if you ever thought about like how Jesus feels about your backstroke, like you talking about that. You know what? To be honest with you, I think all my music is gospel, even the backstroke. Even when I talk about fuck niggas, it's, it is anointed by God. I have wondered, men are the subject of your songs. Yes. The niggas that fucked you over, are they from LA or are they from New Orleans? They've been from around the world. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really been fucked over. My expectations are very high. You know, my children's father is what that whole first complex simplicity was about. You know you were making that album about him in advance or did he hear it with the rest of the world? He knew. He even helped me pick some tracks. He just didn't know. <laughs> he was setting you up for the next one. That he was, was really noble. He's such a good baby daddy, ain't he? <laughs> I was um, in a situation where I think my relationship with um, my children's father was pretty much over. I was just reminiscing on like how hard I tried to make it work. And I had to come to a point where I was like, you can't keep crying about the same thing, girl. No more tears. No more crying. You gotta look at it like, we get to do music. We get to do what we love. Like if you are blessed to have a gift and you get to use it and you get to share it, that in itself is victory. That's beautiful. I'm one of those people that wishes I could open my mouth and sing and I can't. <laughs> it's something I have to live with every day. But you can rap though. We know you got no, it. Okay. <laughs>